What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. So as promised in the last video, today we're going to be doing a special review of these new shoes, they're not even released yet. So these are called, from what I've seen at least online, these are the V1 from yeah. Virtue Athletic. Before we hop into the review, I just finished a workout that's why I look like this, so don't come at me. Uh, so when it comes to Virtue Athletic, their whole mantra, their whole reason behind the company is do more with less. So as you can see, this shoe is very, very simple. There is not many frills to it. It's a very basic shoe, and that's, I think, where their charm lies when it comes to someone maybe getting this over one of the bigger brand shoes. So when it comes to the materials that they are using, it seems like a very thick canvas material. The shoe that I would say this is most similar to would be the Noble Trainers, and then even more so, it's going to be the Canvas Noble Trainers. Very, very similar, but there are some differences. First thing you're gonna notice is obviously this outsole. This is all uh, like fully rubber, right? So it's very sticky, uh, works really well for like box jumps and stuff like that. But also, as you can see, that is a thick tread and it goes, it wraps around here. So rope climbs, I haven't done any yet, but I would assume they would be pretty good. Um, the only, I would say the biggest issue that I see with this shoe with, you know, I've used it for probably about seven workouts now would be the durability. Just like if you compare it to like a Nano 9 or a Metcon, just because those shoes are so overbuilt um, that they have so many layers, so much stuff going on that, I mean, those things last for quite a while um, I could see this falling apart a little bit before that but again that remains to be seen when it does come to the actual build quality of the shoe considering this is a prototype model so the only thing that I was I've been talking to the owner the only thing that they're planning on changing is making the heel counter a little bit more thick and a little bit more durable it's a little I don't want to say flimsy because I mean I haven't had any issues with it but I can only see that being an improvement to the shoe. And then the other parts of the shoe, I really like the eyelets, I know that's very random but they're very thick and they seem like they're not going to be coming apart anytime soon. And then just just like I said, the overall build quality, it's such a basic design uh, but it seems like, and from all the workouts I've done with them, they've handled everything that I've thrown at them like pretty well. Now one of my biggest things when it comes to shoes is I need to have a shoe that's wide if the shoe is not wide it's not going to be comfortable I don't have an overly wide foot it's not like I'm like sitting here with like Sasquatch feet or anything like that but I do have a wider foot than I would say someone that has a narrow foot would have uh, so these shoes actually work really well with my foot I feel like I have a lot of room in the forefoot to splay my feet out for when you know when I'm lifting and stuff like that they they don't at all feel constricting on my foot which for me is like that's one of the most important things when it comes to a shoe if it feels like it's constricted and then I'm doing workouts in them and your feet are swelling a little bit and then the shoes are uncomfortable like I'm not gonna want to wear those shoes so I found myself wanting to wear these quite a bit uh, because they just feel like my foot has room to breathe in them now these shoes do have a six millimeter heel to toe drop so there's six millimeters of drop in the shoe uh, so some people might not like that I know a lot of people like like close to zero millimeter drop for me I like having a little bit higher of a drop because you guys know I have the limited ankle mobility in my left foot so the more of a drop that I have in a shoe the the better it is for me uh, so I really enjoy that but it definitely doesn't feel like you're walking around in high heels or anything like that it feels like a, it, it doesn't just feel like it is a very stable shoe I've actually hit I hit a PR uh, thruster from the ground in these shoes and I felt completely safe using these shoes. I felt very stable. I mean, they're a solid CrossFit shoe for sure. When it comes to running, are these shoes the the best shoes I've ever used to run in? No. Are they the worst? Definitely not. I would rather run in these probably more than any other Metcon that I've ever ran in, um, other than the Metcon Free, the first Metcon Freeze. Those are still my favorite uh, CrossFit shoes to run in. Uh, but I would say I wouldn't mind doing, you know, 400, 800 meters in this shoe. I, I ran, I've done a few runs in this and I felt completely fine with it. They're also a pretty light shoe, which is nice when you're when you're running because we know that the Nanos and the Metcons are not the lightest shoe in the world. So these definitely feel quite a bit lighter than those as well. And then when it comes to anything else that you'd be doing in CrossFit, I did 20.2 in these shoes. So toes of bar was fine, double unders was fine, doing the uh, dumbbell thrusters was fine. Like they, they work really well for any CrossFit movement that you're really going to throw at it. Um, I, honestly, it's, 
It's pretty surprising that this is the first iteration of a shoe of a company that has never existed until this shoe has come out. Um, I think they did a really good job. Now, as far as the pricing is, they are going to be starting a Kickstarter soon within the next couple days. So I'll link that down in the description. But these, the first 100 people that you know put the money in the Kickstarter, they're gonna get a shoe for $65. So that is a pretty cheap price point compared to you know $130 for a, for a Metcon. So it's literally half, half price of that. And then also if you order more than one pair you also get quite a discount as well so when it comes to you know the value of this shoe at $65 I mean that's a very very good price for these like I would be very happy spending $65 on these shoes they they definitely feel like they would be worth it I mean even up to 85 I would say a hundred dollars would probably be the most that I would want to spend on these so I hope that they the price point isn't higher than that when they come out um, but I mean that again that's remains to be seen. Now, who would get this shoe, right? Like, would I recommend this shoe before I would say maybe get a Nano 9 or a Metcon 5? Maybe not, like if price was an, it was an issue, then maybe, you know, if you're able to get them for $65. But if you're someone that's like me, that likes to try different CrossFit shoes out and is excited about a new company coming into the space and, you know, making things more competitive, I think that's always good. Then yeah, I think you should try these out. If you're someone that enjoys CrossFit shoes and you like to try new things, um, or if you're someone that likes like a minimal shoe, you don't like how Nanos look, you don't like how Metcons look, because there's, there's definitely a very specific look to them. You know, these are shoes, maybe not the yellow ones, but like the more neutral colored shoes you could wear them out and it doesn't look like you're wearing a CrossFit shoe so I think that that's where these excel pretty well also I do want to say these were sent to me but the owner did not pay me to make this video I actually wanted to make it because I wanted to try out the shoes um, and I'm not getting he's not telling me what to say he's he's not going to see this video before it goes out so he's not gonna have any control over what I am saying I want to make that very clear but these were sent to me but that's about it. You know, there's there's no, they don't have any influence on what I'm saying in this review or how I feel about them. Uh, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.